hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be showing you how i made this beautiful kaftan dress okay it is very very easy to make and you can use any fabric of your choice please come along let's get to it and please subscribe please subscribe thank you so guys this is the fabric that i am going to use for this project and i have already folded it into four but then i will show you how i folded it so the dimension of this fabric is 75 inches by 62 inches so the length is 62 inches and the width is 75 all right so what i did is this i folded it this way first so that would be 62 divided by 2 okay so that would be 31 that means that the length of my dress for my shoulder will be 31 inches i hope you understand so now i'm going to fold it again into four right so i'll fold it this way like this so that is what i have here so i hope you understand so you fold it this way first and then you fold it this way all right so that's 62 by 75. so just like um in the yellow dress that we have in the thumbnail right if you want the sides of the dress okay if you want the side seam to fall to the ground ensure that the width of your dress is more than 75 inches you know how i'm using 75 inches here okay and it's not reaching the floor so if you want yours to reach the floor you should have more than 75 inches you may join your fabric so that you can get that effect all right and if you want um the length of your dress that is from your shoulder to maybe your knee or wherever it is you want if you want it to be more than 30 or 31 inches ensure that your fabric is more than 62 inches you know i have 62 inches there so if i fold it it will be 31 inches okay so you know what just measure from your shoulder to where you want the dress to reach okay and double it all right so this part here is going to be my neckline okay so i'll just demonstrate what i'm going to do here because if i use a chalk on this fabric you might not see it it is very light so now from this neckline from here right here my shoulder width is 15.5 inches so i'm going to measure 15.5 inches divided by 2 that is 7.5 right but because i want um the kaftan to fall a little below my shoulder i don't want it to be exactly on my shoulder bone i'm going to add two inches extra okay so 15.5 divided by two that is 7.75 plus two inches right so i'm going to have 9.75 okay so from this midpoint i'll measure 9.75 let's just use it as an example right 9.75 let's say from here to here is 9.75 okay this is 9.75 okay so this is my show from here to here is my shoulder width plus two inches extra all right so after this 9.75 mark i'm going to measure the armhole so if you're on the slim side like me you can use between 7.5 to 8 inches but if you're on the big side, you can use about maybe 9 to 10 inches, all right? So from here, I'll measure 8 inches. So let's assume from here to here is 8 inches. From here to here is 8 inches, right? So this is 8 inches and this is going to be my armhole, okay? So now what we're going to do about the armhole is this. We're just going to curve it a little. That is on your fabric, right? We're just going to curve it out a little to meet the other one just a little just a slight curve all right and after that we are going to construct the neckline so i'll be using 4.5 inches by one inch so 4.5 inches will be for the neck width and one inch will be for the neck depth okay so if you want the neck width to be wider you can use up to six inches all right so now we're going to cut this out So this is the neckline and this is the armhole. So when you open it up, this is what you have. Okay, so this is the neckline and this is the armhole here. So the only parts that we are going to sew on this fabric is that first we'll be aiming the neckline. You aim it. You can turn it with a bias or if you have a serger, you can just serge it. 
Then this armhole too. You can use a bias or a serger, all right? And then the last thing we are going to do is to sew from here, from the end of your fabric, straight down. The other side as well, sew from the end of your fabric, straight down. And that is all, okay? And then you M the end of the fabric. Just M it, M it. And that is all. So by the time you wear it, it is going to fall this way. I'm going to show you what it looks like, all right? After cutting, what I'm going to do is to finish the neckline, probably with a serger or a bias tape, right? And then the armhole. This is the armhole. I'm also going to use a serger or a bias tape to finish it. And the only place I'm going to sew again is from here, okay, from the end of the fabric here, straight down, straight down to here. All right, and after that, I'm just going to end this fabric. Maybe you can fold it two times. Yeah, you can fold it two times or you can use a serger first and then you fold it once, all right? So here is the dress that we have just made. It is very, very easy to make and it fits all shapes and sizes, all right? So why don't you try and make yours? Please like and share my video and please subscribe if you have not. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them and I'm going to attend to it. Alright, till we see you again people, please take care of yourself. Bye.